Alright guys, so pretty much I'm going to go over a quick little video of how to install the Tac Star side saddle shotgun holster. Um, I purchased the the 6 carrier one. I suggest going with the 6, I don't, unless you want to go with 4, it's all your choice, but I figure the more the merrier. Um, but make sure you order the right one because they have different ones for different shotguns and they have, the, like I said, the 4 and the 6. I almost ordered the 4. Um, ordered it, had to cancel it, and ordered the correct one. So be sure you do that. Pretty much what it's going to come with, it's going to come with this uh, this like little case or whatever uh, on the package. It's got instructions on how to do it for each shotgun on the back. Um, apparently, as you can see, uh, Benelli's, though, they have uh, separate paperwork that comes with it. But pretty much it's all explained on the back. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's pretty easy install. It comes with the baggy goodies, everything you'll need. It's got the Allen wrenches. Um, Pretty much, it's just a plastic outside the carrier. On the outside, is plastic. It's kind of like a hard plastic. The back is actually like an aluminum or some kind of metal or something like that. Um, not a pro on metals, so you know what I mean. Pretty light. Actually, it's kind of heavy for being plastic, but like I said, it's got the backing, so it's solid. It's got uh, two holes. Every, make sure you get the right one for your right shotgun because the holes are different for the trigger pins and where they connect at. This one's labeled the Remington 870. Because obviously I have an 870. So pretty much we're gonna we're gonna start out with dropping out the bag of goodies, and then what I like to do is I like to pop out the pins with the screw. That way nothing gets out of mess. Make sure you put the washers on too. Don't forget about those. So what you're gonna do is first you're gonna I like to use a screwdriver. You can use a soft mallet or whatever you feel comfortable using. Uh, put it right on the pin, and then just go ahead and tap it out softly don't have to jam it out should come out no problem and there we go got that one in the pin falls out so there's the back pin and again you have a slim screw one's a little bit thinner than the other one so it's pretty self-explanatory as you can see um, this one's a little bit smaller but big one goes in the back I don't think you can get it mixed up because this one's too big for that hole. Pretty much small one in front, big one in back. And then what you're going to do is do the same thing with the front. And then just go and try and hammer that one out. Again, don't force it. Set it go right in. And there we go. It's all the way in. So... Trigger pins, you're going to put those off to the side. The only thing I don't really like about this setup is that you have full-on screws. They don't have any smooth parts. I don't think that's going to be good on the internals, but we'll see how that turns out. I haven't heard anybody having any problems with that yet, but we'll see how that turns out. So what you're going to do now is you're going to flip it over, and then the holes on the back right here, they have threads, and then what you're going to do is just put it on there, and then what you can do is you can undo these little screws right here and then take off this that way it screws on easier but I'm gonna go ahead and just go for it there's one and there's two so go ahead and flip this back around you gotta make sure you hold it get the big one on there first just kinda thread it a little bit make sure it makes contact you don't have to get it all the way tight so it grabs onto it which it didn't do cause I wasn't on it Let's go ahead and screw that on. There we go. I think I got it. Yeah. So now I don't have to hold it as much. Screws already in. Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. It was off camera. <laughs> Alright, why aren't you going in? Okay, there we go. So just screw that in. So we'll go in. And then another thing too is they say don't tighten this too much because it will bind your uh, trigger assembly. And that's no bueno. So just make it uh, hand tight. You don't got to go crazy with it. There we go. That one's hand tight. 
and just going to screw this one down again hand tight nothing crazy because you don't want to jack up your trigger assembly there you go all set ready to go it's on there solid that is how you install the tax star side saddle holster for your 870 shotgun pretty much the same process for the 590 500 and everything but uh, again just a little bit different so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed I hope that helps if you guys have any questions just go and email me um, like, subscribe, rate. So take it easy, guys.